Back in October, UK-based Project Bloodhound ran out of money. It was a bummer. The project, founded in 2007, set out to break the land speed record, but by late 2018, the company wasn't just out of money. It needed about $33 million to help the team continue its pursuit of 1,000 miles per hour. About 800 miles per hour faster than the Bloodhound, a combination of an F1 car, a jet, and a spaceship had ever gone. Well, it looks like the Bloodhound supersonic car might have a savior. The car and other project assets have been acquired by a local UK businessman. According to the BBC, the supersonic car alone was priced at $319,000. Well, rather than getting sold off piecemeal in some fire sale, Bloodhound's assets are now owned by Ian Warhurst, a mechanical engineer with experience operating automotive engineering businesses. We don't know yet what Warhurst's plans are for Bloodhound, but he does say that he's been a supporter of the project for many years. For now, the project remains intact, but we'll see if the new ownership will be more capable of raising the millions of dollars necessary to get Bloodhound back on track and shattering some speed records. We'll see if they can do it. Okay, we're good now. For anyone with a neurotic dog, or those of you who foolishly follow your neighborhood pet pages on Facebook, you know that loud noises like fireworks, thunder, or sporadic gunfire can make pets anxious. The animals need something better than dog-hugging sweaters, because those are garbage. Roughly, accidental pun, 45% of dogs are afraid of loud sounds like fireworks, and up to 20% are so crippled by it that their owners actively look for professional help. Well, the engineers from Ford Europe have taken their knowledge of noise canceling and created a soundproof kennel. Using Ford's active noise control technology, soundproof ventilation, and anti-vibration block risers, the kennel detects harmful sounds and cancels them out by emitting opposing frequencies. It's the same technology that's found in the Edge SUV, which uses opposing sound waves to counteract engine or transmission noise. Right now, it's just a prototype, but the concept has created quite a stir. If you only look at the number of dog households in America, which is about 43.3 million, you have at least 8.7 million potential customers. And they are active in the comments section. Like they want it now. Probably more than that Edge SUV. Okay, we're good now. A prototype flying car recently crash landed at Willow Run Airport in Ypsilanti, Michigan, a small town just outside of Ann Arbor. Engineer Sanjay Dahl created Detroit Flying Cars to build a flying car in Detroit. I mean, well, the Detroit area, which sometimes seems to span the entire state. He's building the WD-1, an experimental hybrid vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that recently crashed during a test run. Dahl was injured, but did survive the crash after it accidentally lifted off during a taxi test. How do you accidentally lift off? The FAA is investigating the incident, but according to Dahl's business partner, David Hahn, the craft has already survived two other test runs. Well, during this one in particular, the front two wheels were supposed to come off the ground, but the entire vehicle accidentally took flight. I mean, like feels like that should be in the gauges. Wait, wait, wait. Don't fly. Okay, we're good now. Is there any particular reason there's three sides to the fly, don't fly gauge? It's just a series of pyramids and Tetris symbols. Well, despite the setback and the fact that several other flying car prototype pilots have had similar and much more tragic accidents in the past, the project will go on and the team plans to make improvements for future iterations in upcoming test flights. Hopefully, it stays in one piece next time. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.